and then E says the cash budget and debt budget. Now that seems really reasonable, except for the fact that we don't usually have you know a debt budget because it's not often we don't have a, another budget to just the debt budget. So we might have schedules to help us out with the with the debt budget. So the final answer is actually A on this one. So long-term liability data can be gotten from A, the cash budget and capital expenditures budget. Next question, which of the following must be prepared before the direct labor budget? A, budgeted income statement. B, cash budget. C, capital expenditures budget. D, production budget or E, budgeted balance sheet. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Which of the following must be prepared before the direct labor budget? Either A, budgeted income statement. Now, when we see a question like this, once again, we're thinking about the order of operations, the order of the budgets. We have to do all the budgets in a certain type of order in order to do them correctly. Otherwise, we will have a mess. And it starts with basically we have to start up with the sales type stuff happening first and then go through the order. The end items that we're typically going to have are going to be uh, the financial statements, which would include the income statements. So which would have to be prepared before the direct labor budget? Well, the direct labor budget is not the first thing we do. It's somewhere in the middle. But the income statement, the budgeted income statement, is like the last thing we do. So we're probably not going to be doing that before we have to do uh, the, the direct labor budget. So I don't think it's going to be A. B says the cash budget. And the cash budget's pretty close to, to the bottom again. It's kind of like one of the later stuff we do. So I would think that the cash budget probably not going to be done before the direct labor budget. It's down close to the final product, down close to the financial statements or the budgeted financial statements. How about C? Capital expenditures budget. And again, that's getting kind of low down on the list here. I'll keep that one for now, but that's pretty down there. D says the production budget. So the production budget, you know, that's one's going to be a little bit higher up on the list. We got to do that, uh, you know, somewhat in the beginning of the process. So that could quite possibly be it. And E says the budgeted balance sheet. And again, that's kind of like the final product. That's like at the end. So we're probably not going to be doing the budgeted balance sheet before we do the direct labor budget. That would be silly. So now we're looking at C and D. Between C and D, uh, if we just look at the order of operations, you got the capital expenditures budget and the production budget. Usually we would do the production budget before the capital expenditure budget. So the fact that the production budget is done uh, after the cap, um, the fact that the capital expenditure is done after the production budget means that it's probably not the one and therefore the one would be D. We're left with our final answer D. And so that would be which of the following must be prepared before the direct labor budget? D the production budget.